uh, your concept and your idea about it's called concealed carry. And it's it only works where you have people very adept at using firearms, of which you have many. And it would be teachers and uh, coaches. If the coach had a firearm in his locker when he ran at this guy, that coach was very brave. Uh, saved a lot of lives, I suspect. But if he had a firearm, he wouldn't have had a run. He would have shot, and that would have been the end of it. And this would only be, obviously, for people that are very adept at handling a gun. And it would be, it's called concealed carry, where a teacher would have a concealed gun on them. They'd go for special training, and they would uh, be there, and you would no longer have a gun-free zone. Gun-free zone to a maniac, because they're all cowards. A gun-free zone is, let's go in and let's attack, because bullets aren't coming back at us. And if you, uh, if you do this, and a lot of people are talking about it, and it's certainly a point that we'll discuss, but concealed carry for teachers and for people of talent, of that type of talent. So let's say you had 20% of your teaching force, because that's pretty much the number. And you said it. Uh, an attack has lasted, on average, about three minutes. It takes five to eight minutes for responders, for the police to come in. So the attack is over. If you had a teacher with, who was adept at firearms, they could very well end the attack very quickly. And the good thing about a suggestion like that, and we're going to be looking at it very strongly, and I think a lot of people are going to be opposed to it. I think a lot of people are going to like it. But the good thing is that you'll have a lot of people with that. You know, you can't have 100 uh, security guards in Stoneman Douglas. That's a big school. It's a massive school with, with a lot of acreage to cover, a lot of floor area. And so that would be certainly a situation that is being discussed a lot by a lot of people. You'd have a lot of people that'd be armed, that'd be ready. They're professionals. They may be Marines that left the Marines, left the Army, left the Air Force, and they're very adept at doing that. Uh, you'd have a lot of them, and they'd be spread evenly throughout the school. So the other thing, I really believe that if these cowards knew that that was that the school was, you know, well guarded from the standpoint of having pretty much professionals with great training. I think they wouldn't go into the school to start off with. I think it could very well solve your problem. So we'll be doing the background checks. We'll be doing uh, a lot of different things, but we'll certainly be looking at ideas like that.